Bruins Lake was shut down yesterday and will remain closed for all recreational activities until further notice. Health officials blame contamination from failing septic systems for the lake's recent pollution problem. Dr. Anderson of the Watershed Monitoring Lab explains why we are seeing this problem now. And I can say to you that there are a couple of reasons for the closure. First, uh, we've discovered that there are a number of aging and malfunctioning septic tanks in the Queens Lake watershed, and these have contributed directly to the water quality decline in the lake. Secondly, the recent uh, heavy rains that we've had this spring have uh, caused the uh, poorly treated wastewater from these systems to rise to the surface and be washed directly into the lake. As you know, septage uh, carries with it the possibility of uh, contamination and uh, the uh, induction of human disease such as hepatitis and, uh, and typhoid. Uh, we also have a third problem that may be even more severe. As you know, the uh, uh, public water supply intake is located just downstream of Queens Lake, and if we do not uh, uh, resolve this problem with the lake contamination, it may in the long term affect the water supply. So our first uh, order of business is to uh, uh, get the homeowners in the watershed to rehabilitate these failing systems. How can you listen to all that talk about septic systems? We're eating breakfast here. They're talking about Queens Lake. Doesn't that bother you? No. Queens Lake's, what, 20 miles from here. You're right. But, Eddie, one of the reasons that we bought this house was because it's by the lake. What about all those romantic strolls we had planned by the water? Just the two of us. Wouldn't it bother you if our beaches were ruined because our septic system was out of whack? Okay, okay, but what can I do about it? It's simple. Call the health department. Oh, come on, Cindy. This house is only five years old. Besides, the previous owner said that the system's fine. Maybe it is, but our contract clearly states that since the previous owners moved out before they had the system inspected by the health department... Like they should have. It falls on us to schedule the appointment, and our 30-day deadline is nearly up. Okay, so let's say we call the health department. They come out, inspect the place, they find something wrong. <laughs> you know they always do. What are we going to do then? Better that we should find out now. Besides, the contract says that any fees for inspections or repairs will be paid for by the previous owner. It won't cost us a penny. Yes. Could I have the number for the county health department, please? Okay, and uh, one last question. How long have you been in this home here? Um, has it been 30 days, Ed? Ed? Uh, yeah, 30 days uh, as of yesterday. Hey, can I ask you a question? Sure. This guy over here with the, the metal pole, what's he doing? Oh, that's a probe. He's checking your drain field for saturation. He's also looking for other things that might indicate a worn out drain field, like wet areas or like a lush green growth. What's he doing way over there? I thought the septic tank was here, closer to the house. Well, that's true, Mr. Brown, but the septic tank's only one part of the system. Let me show you. Picture's worth a thousand words, right? Take a look at this. You see, your septic system consists of three basic components. The septic tank, the distribution box, and the drain field. Wastewater enters the septic tank through a large pipe leading from the house. The tank acts like a huge separator that allows the solids to settle out from the liquid. Here in the tank, the heavy solids will settle to the bottom where they can be digested by beneficial bacteria. And the lighter scum, like soap suds and grease, they float to the top. After the solids have been separated, the partially treated water gradually flows out of the tank through another pipe, which runs into the system's second component, the distribution box. The distribution box does just what its name implies. It distributes, or divides, the water evenly among several drain field trenches. In the drain field trenches, the wastewater percolates through a layer of gravel and filters down into the soil. If your septic tank is not pumped out regularly, you could develop a clogged drain field, which would shorten the life of your septic system. The size of the tank and the number and length of the drain field lines depends on the drainage characteristics of your soil and the size of the house, specifically the amount of water that's used. So you see, that's why I asked all those questions when I first arrived. Well, I've got all the information I need. What'd you find out, John? Uh-oh, here it comes. 
Well, your drain field trenches seem to be working fine. However, I did note that your five-year-old house has never had the septic tank pumped. It's important that it's pumped to, so the system works properly. How do we pump it out? Well, there's plenty of licensed contractors that'll do that for you. I suggest you check the yellow pages under septic tanks and just call one up. Well, how often should we have it pumped out? Like once a year? No, three to five years is usually adequate. But remember, anything you pour down your drain or your toilet will eventually make its way to the septic tank. You also want to be careful not to put any chemicals or other things that might disrupt the digestive action within the septic tank. Here's a brochure that'll explain all you really need to know about septic systems. Follow its advice and you'll have plenty of good years of working order for your system. Hey, thanks a lot for coming out and checking out our system. Cindy and I are really relieved by what you guys found. That's what we're here for. See the look on their face after I told them everything was in good shape? I just wish more people would call us before their systems fail. Too many people learn the hard way after costly major repairs. I got an idea. Let's show these folks what's in the brochure. What folks? The folks watching this video. Here's a few tips found in your brochure about what you should and should not do with your septic system. First and most important, do have your septic tank pumped out every three to five years by a licensed contractor. Learn the location of your septic system and keep a record of when it was pumped out. Don't attempt to repair a septic system yourself. Instead, call your neighborhood health department for advice on how to handle your problem. We exist to help you. Do conserve water. Repair dripping faucets and leaking toilets. Use washing machines and dishwashers only when full. Avoid long showers and use water-saving fixtures in faucets, toilets, and shower heads. Don't use your septic system as a trash can. Avoid dumping grease, disposable diapers, or anything plastic or otherwise non-degradable down the drain or toilet. Do save your money by not buying unnecessary commercial septic tank additives. These products usually yield no benefits and may even hurt your system or pollute the environment. Don't poison your septic system by pouring harmful chemicals such as pesticides, herbicides, gasoline, oil, paints, and paint thinner down the drain. They can kill the beneficial bacteria that treat your wastewater. And don't plant trees, bushes, or gardens over or near the drain field, or drive heavy vehicles over any part of the system. This will crush and damage your system. Maintain the lawn over your drain field simply by mowing. Do, however, call the health department if you have any questions or notice any peculiarities with your system. Something as simple as a phone call may save you many dollars in repairs and countless hours of aggravation. Remember, your septic tank system is a living system. Your actions or inactions may affect much more than you think. A failing septic system can cause a serious public health threat to your family and neighbors, threaten the quality of a public water supply, become a liability to the value of your property. Don't wait until it's too late. Do something about it now. Call your health department for more information and then tell a neighbor what you've learned. Together, we can make a difference. Those dogs who are unwanted, the story is a sad one. Hey, today's the day the guy from the septic place is supposed to come pump our tank, isn't it? Huh? Oh yeah, he should be here around noon. You know, I'm really glad you talked me into having the place inspected. It wasn't such a bad experience after all. In fact, I learned a few things. Like how important it is to have your tank regularly pumped out and so and if no one calls, they'll have to spend yet another weekend in the shelter. So if you'd like to adopt these seven adorable puppies, call us here at KLJTV. That number is 555-47... No. Eddie. No. No dog. Come on, Eddie. Think how cute they'd be. As we strolled along the waterfront, barefoot, romantic, the nine of us. No. No.